So if you're not already familiar with the SEMrush website audit tool, it is a very powerful tool that you can use to get a glimpse of some of the issues going on with your site from a technical SEO standpoint. So I'll dive into how all this works, how you can get this set up. If you don't already have a SEMrush account, I'll leave a link down below where you can get signed up for a free trial. You can test all this stuff out, see how everything works. Um, but basically, once you're logged in, you would come over here to the SEO tab, which you can collapse here. So make sure it's expanded and then come down to site audit. And from here, you can just click create project, pop your domain in here. You can give it a project name if you want to click create project from there. It's going to take some time for it to scan the website. So I've actually done this ahead of time, but after you put it in, you'll see something like this where you can click set up um, and it'll, you know, it'll go through scan everything. From there, you just click on this and it'll open up this page where you can see the full scan and you can see the overall site health is pretty good. There's a couple of issues that it thinks are some pretty major issues that we should be addressing. So we'll dive into those, uh, but it's breaking these down by errors, which are s supposedly critical errors. It might not be a hundred percent accurate. So you kind of have to assess the situation because these are robots that are doing these analyses. And they're not perfect like humans. Well, they don't have as much context as humans. Obviously, humans are not perfect either, but there are also warnings and notices. So you probably want to start with the errors, then work your way through the warnings and then into the notices, starting with the most critical and working down from there, essentially. So from here, we can see that there are uh, some top issues here. Uh, this is kind of where I like to start and just click view details. And this is going to give us a breakdown of these issues here. So we've got the main errors. It's saying that there's 13 structured data items that are invalid. And for each of these, we can click on them to see what's going on. And we can see all of these that checked out. So everything looks good here. And then there's a bunch of warnings. So like these have temporary redirects. So we could click into here and see that there are some recipes that are getting redirected somewhere. We should probably fix that. So we can go back and see what some of these other issues are. And, you know, obviously not going to go through every single one of these because they're going to be different on your website. Like you might have, you know, this issue or this issue, mixed content issues. Um, it really depends on your website. So you just need to do the scan and then it will tell you why and how to fix each of these items. And like I was saying, you can view these, you can hide these or you can click on them to view them. And then once you're done, you can hide them from here. So you can just go through this list, knock all these out, then go through the notices. There's a whole bunch of links that don't have any anchor text. But that might not necessarily be a bad thing. You know, it just depends on the context. So some of these, it looks like this looks like it might even just be a straight up issue here. <laughs> so um, as you're going through and adjusting these, this tool is going to come back through and recrawl your website. You can see it was crawled a day ago here as it's crawling these pages it's going to adjust this site health. It will also pick up new issues as time goes on. So once you have this in here, you can always come back here and check and see how your site is looking because things sometimes will develop as time goes on. Let's say you have a blog or maybe you're adding recipes like we are on this site here and there are links to these recipes and you know, sometimes things are changing. So, you really need to make sure on a regular basis that the technical SEO aspects of your website are being handled such that the foundation, the core fundamentals are in place. Because if something gets out of whack, let's say you have all of a sudden 50 critical errors and you start digging in and it's looking like uh, you've got a whole bunch of 400 error pages and you know, some DNS issues and robot uh, issue robot.txt issues. 
you know, then your website technical SEO is sort of the foundation that everything else hinges on. So, for instance, if your site is not loading with HTTPS, like we're seeing down here, if it's loading with just the HTTP version, Google's going to say this site's not secure and it's going to show this big ugly warning and that's going to cause major damage with your SEO and probably prevent you from showing up in Google entirely. So these are like the f fundamentals. If you, if you don't have these in place, then it doesn't matter how good your content is or how many backlinks you have. If people aren't able to go to your website and pages are broken or <laughs> links aren't working and stuff, then Google's not going to want to put you up at the top of the search results. So that's why this stuff is so critically important. And that's why some of these are called like critical errors, right? Because if something is badly broken on your website and preventing um, search engines from crawling your website or people from correctly using your website, then it's going to trump any other things you have going on with your SEO. So I would advise trying to stay on top of this stuff, checking it somewhat regularly. You can rerun it manually here. So after you do some changes, you can have it go back through and rerun all this. You can check all the pages it's crawled, look into some of the uh, statistics, just kind of get more of an overview. There's tons of different helpful information that you can dig into in these reports, um, including a you know, further breakdown of how many issues there are and fixed issues and your progress and things of that nature. You can see we haven't really been doing a whole lot with this one <laughs> as of late. Uh, but that's pretty much it with the, uh, you know, the site audit tool in SEMrush. I hope this was helpful. If there's anything you did have questions about, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to them there. If you're like most new business owners, you're probably struggling to get your online presence established, let alone get it to the point where it's bringing you a consistent flow of customers, right? So that's why I created this free course where I actually walk you step by step through the whole process of setting up your online presence. This is the same process we've been using for our clients for over a decade and one of my agencies. And essentially, I'm going to show you how to set up an SEO friendly business name right from the get go, how to develop your website really quickly and easily, how to set up your Google Maps listing, start getting some Google reviews, everything you need in order to have a substantial online presence where people can actually start finding you and, and purchasing your products or services. <laughs> Best part is I'm going to show you how to do it in under a couple of hours and all for less than 50 bucks. If you're interested, I'll leave a link below where you can get signed up today. Make sure to check this course out for free right now because I'm probably going to start charging for this at some point in the future. Alright, I'll see you on the other side.